Howdy folks, you know, it's springtime um, here in the northern part of the country. The snow is finally going away, the ice is finally going away, and many of us bass anglers are getting itchy, going through our tackle boxes, finding out what we're missing from last season and getting ready to replace things so we have all those baits we need and want when we hit the water and are ready to catch some of those springtime lunkers that are coming up from the deep water, cold water environments. Okay, so as you're doing that, one site I ch uh, strongly suggest you check out is the Bass Assault Lures website. And the reason why I suggest this is because they have probably, from in my estimation, one of the most versatile ways of ordering baits out there, especially if you're into spinnerbaits, jigs, and buzzbaits, if those are the types of baits you need to replace. Uh, and the reason I say that is you can basically customize them. One, through some tools that are directly available on the website or by contacting them and they're very willing to work with you. Much of the time there's no additional charge, you know, if it's just tweaking colors and things along those lines. You know, if you do want something that's extravagant, there might be an extra charge, but they'll tell you that right up front. Okay, so exactly what am I talking about? Well, let's switch over to the Bass Assault Lures site. Here we are arriving at their uh, front page. And, uh, you know, if we quickly scroll down the page, you'll get to see um, all the different baits they currently have into uh, in their line. Uh, one bait they just recently added is this Flirt and Flash bladed swim jig. Um, and that's out, well, about a week or so. Uh, it's been actually added to their line, a rather uh, sweet little deal. Okay, but how exactly, you know, using these two different methods, do you customize these baits? Well, let's start out by looking at the spinnerbait. You know, the spinnerbaits and the buzzbaits are actually the most customizable directly from the site. And, you know, if you go to any of the, the options for their baits, they pretty much use the same approach. So let's click on the spinnerbaits. And the first thing you'll notice is, you know, as standard fare, they have six different spinnerbait configurations that are present, ready to go. Two of them are, you know, what they refer to as the head trip model, one with a double willow, one with the tandem Colorado willow. Um, these have what I consider the conventional, you know, regular old spinnerbait skirt. In other words, it stops basically even at the back of the, or just behind the hook uh, here. In the other line, the Pro Series line, you'll notice that the skirt's different, that there's actually a shorter front part and a longer tail. Uh, the, the front part, because it is shorter, kind of flares out a little bit more, and a lot of people like that. And they have four different blade configurations, double Indiana, double Colorado, double Willow, and again, the tandem Colorado Willow. All right, you know, one customization that they don't have available here yet in the site is let's say you wanted a single spin. You know, that would be, you know, get in touch with them and they'll, they're willing to do that. And since you're not really adding anything to it, there probably wouldn't be additional charge. On the other hand, there's a big deal out there to do, you know, four blade, quad, quad uh, blade spinner baits, like on the uh, double willow uh, type of uh, lure. And if, again, you'd have to get in touch with them for that. When you do that, there probably will be an additional charge, but they're right up front about that. But let's go in and see exactly how we go in and customize these things directly from the website. So we click on one of these, and I'm going to click on the double willow leaf spinnerbait here, the Pro Series. Let me scroll this over a little bit so I have the order section right in the window, in the recording window. Uh, gives you the price, tells you what it is right up front. You know, like it's reasonably priced. It's, it's right there with the average of, you know, a quality... Uh, Spinnerbait, they basically make all their skirts, their heads, everything is made right there at their plant um, uh, down in the uh, down in Arkansas. Um, and uh, so where do we go from here? Well, they have different standard skirts that are available. Uh, anything from bluegill, nice part is it pops up here so you can see exactly what it looks like, to uh, golden shiner, one of my favorites, to the gunmetal shad. Oops, right here. Okay, and you can actually get a look at what it, what's available there. It has two different sizes available currently: the three eighths and the half ounce. And here's where the customization really comes into play. You notice for the large blade, you know that blade on the back and uh, back here. There are what five different possibilities for colors with no additional charge: nickel, gold, copper, white, or chartreuse. Um, same thing with the front blade. So there's a level of customization that you just don't get at most other websites. 
pretty cool deal in my estimation. Something to keep in mind. Uh, there's similar type of things you can do with the bass jigs. The buzz baits are just as customizable here. Like I said, there are different blade options on the buzz baits. One of those has a slightly higher uh, fee associated with it. But anytime there's a price increase over what's listed, they're very clear when you actually click on the drop down box to see what's there. Okay, so something to keep in mind. Two other things I'd recommend before you do, uh, before you leave the site, but I'll get to that to the moment. I did mention that there are two ways to customize things. The other way, of course, click on the contact form, gives you the email address, gives you the address for the telephone number, or a contact form, which will email them directly right from the website. Just uh, fill in your name, your email address, phone number is optional. Give them the details of what you're looking for. I recommend you give them a phone number because they'll call and discuss exactly what you want. Um, send it out there. They'll be right back to you. I'll let you know, you know, if, the, if the, everything's standard pricing and what the deal is. Okay. Two other things I recommend you do before you leave. Scroll down to the bottom. You'll notice this little thing here that says sign up for your newsletter. I recommend you do that. When you do that, you will get advised of any sales they're having, any special contests they're having, any giveaways they're having. Um, if there's any, you know, uh, well, let's, for instance, last weekend, they dropped the free shipping fee from their normal $50 price tag. You know, if you buy over $50 worth of bait, you get free shipping down to $25. That's something they do periodically. They don't email you very often. It's only when something's going on, you know, an email to a month, usually at most. So it's not, not a bad email list to be on. And the other thing, you know, if you're looking for more information on how to do stuff, they have a growing list of content. Here they currently have, I think, yeah, three articles on spinnerbaits. There's more coming in the very near future. A great place to go. Get information. Get customizable baits. Keep bass assault lures in mind. And restock your tackle boxes for this upcoming season. Have a great day.